Hello everyone, my name is Brittany Shine and today I'm going to show you how I make my harmony songs on GarageBand and how they come out perfect uh, with the perfect rhythm and the perfect pitch. Okay, because when you're making a harmony song, if you're trying to uh, duplicate your tracks and make multiple tracks to create a perfect harmony, you will need some type of sound, some type of uh, track that's going to help you stay on pitch so that when you're exporting your song um, and you're sending, sending it off to different platforms, you want to make sure that your audience and your listeners are hearing a perfect harmony song that you have in your head. Um, and so that's what I'm going to show you today. I didn't create any audio tracks first. Um, instead, I create regular tracks like piano track or you can do an organ track, whatever sound you like to hear. But it has to be uh, sounds that have the perfect pitch. So I chose piano um, and I just chose a regular piano sound. So Steinway Grand Piano. And what you do is you create those tracks, you make it into the melody that you want to sing it in. So each harmony should sound exactly like the sound that you want to hear from the piano, for example. And what I'm doing is creating that melody out of the harmony. So for example... Okay, now I'm going to sing to that melody. And that is how I'm creating my perfect pitch uh, harmony sound. So this is just part of the harmony. This is a melody from... If you want your audience to enjoy listening to your songs, your songs have to sound as perfect as possible. And the best way to do that when you're making a harmony song is by creating regular tracks that sounds like your harmony. And you want to uh, use your, your musical typing keyboard. So this is what I do. I click on window and I click show musical typing. So now it says high musical typing because I just clicked on show musical typing. And you can use this keypad or you can actually use your, your MIDI controller um, from your keyboard. You can use a MIDI controller from that. Or you can just use your keypad. And what you want to do is you want to create. Let me go back. Let me unmute this. So you, so you create your melody sound in order to keep you on track with the pitch, okay? And then once you do that, you quantize it to make sure that it's in the perfect rhythm. So for example, um, this track is in 116 note. That's usually what I use for uh, quantizing my tracks. So you want to make sure that you select all of your sounds within this track. So I click Command A. Okay, that's how you select your tracks. And then I just click the quantize to make sure that it's quantized. Okay, because you can't quantize audio tracks. You can only quantize... Um, what is this tra track called? It's the I call it regular tracks, but it's it's basically just a an instrumental track. Okay, an instrumental track. So this is an instrumental track. Um, then piano is my instrument, 
and I just select all, quantize, make sure that it sounds in the perfect rhythm. So I click on the metronome and I make sure that it's in the right tempo. My tempo is 120 and um, I'm going to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now that I know that it's in the perfect rhythm, now I can start singing to that track. And I also, I, I keep my metronome on as well to make sure that I'm singing in that perfect rhythm. And, and you still want to have your own flavor to it when you're singing. Like you don't want to sound like a marching band <laughs> when you're singing you want to still create your flow you know um like bring out your your authenticity within the sound of your melody and you want to make sure that you're singing on the right tempo okay so i have my metronome my metronome on and i actually i no longer record my audio tracks on like I don't sing I don't sing and record on GarageBand I use voice recorder for my phone okay it's a new technique that you can do when you're recording music but that's another video for that um so yeah Okay, and that is how you do a harmony song on GarageBand. And you can do it on any platform. You can do it on any type of musical program that enables you to record audio tracks. So you don't have to use GarageBand. You can use any type of, uh, like you can use Pro Tools, you can use Reason, you can use Logic Pro, any platform that you choose um, but I like GarageBand because it's very easy to use I've been using it for years and it's still hard work you still have to put in the work um, it's actually harder work to um, mix and master audio tracks when you're when you're making a harmony song than just making a regular song with just a few tracks um, because for example, like in this particular song, all of these tracks are audio tracks. And I'm just going to squeeze it in so you can see all of these. All of the tracks are audio tracks. At the bottom are beatboxing. Okay. At the top, you have all of the singing. And it's a lot of <laughs> mixing and mastering, making sure that mixing and mastering and cutting and editing. Uh, mastering is really easy but the mixing is where you put the work in so this is all audio tracks there are no instrumental tracks except the tracks that um, help me stay in tune with the sound of the melody that I'm looking for in each track so um, and once I'm done I just mute the instrumental tracks to make sure that all of my tracks are just audio tracks and that's how you do it. So I just recently made a song called I Ain't Worried About a Thing. It's actually just called Ain't Worried About a Thing. But you can check it out on my page at Brittany Shine on YouTube and on Facebook. And it's called Ain't Worried About a Thing. My name is spelled differently. It's B R I. T-T-N-E-E, -E, Shine, S-H-I-N-E. Feel free to check it out. Um, this song took me two weeks to complete. I started recording it on my phone, and then I exported the audio tracks to GarageBand, and I just started mixing and mastering, and I finally, finally finished it this past Friday. So... 
today is monday so yes it was like three days ago and i finally finished it and here here you go <laughs> so it is available on youtube and facebook check it out and i will talk to you soon thank you so much guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will be making more tutorials again soon thank you bye bye i worry about a thing i worry about a thing i worry about a thing thing i worry about a thing i worry about a thing i worry about a thing thing my father told me not to worry about a thing papa jesus told